Yo, hey everybody! I'm at the boat place, and this is the Bully in the Base <laughs> podcast, man. What's going on with y'all? Yo, yo, yo! Twerk's in the building. What up? Yes, we definitely got Twerk in the building. We out here this Bully in the Beast podcast, and we got a whole lot going on. Twerk is somewhere else. I see. I see. Um, Ali in the back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, at, least, at least you, at least you staying cool or oh. heated. <laughs> in the back. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on though? What you got going on this week? Uh, you know, I'm back from Invest Fest. I'm, I'm motivated, man. I was in Atlanta. Last time we talked, and um, I was they had like a podcast seminar, like the business of oh. podcasting and shit. So that was the, like you know, Young Jeezy was there, Steve Harvey was there. But the oh. thing I looked most forward Legends. to was that podcast seminar. Yeah, but I did learn a lot from them too. Even Puff Daddy was there. Of course, of yeah, course. that's dope. Legends, man. Anytime you be around people who actually doing something and got a movement, one of the things you want to do is definitely you know go around them and you know pick their brains or. Just watch the way they move. They move a little different. You know what I'm saying? People got other things going on. They move different. They talk different. You know what I'm saying? They got a different energy towards them. And then when you you adapt that energy, when you go around people, you also get that energy. So I try to keep myself around positive energy and positive things going on. Anything negative, people is always upset. <laughs> always got something going right. on. I don't even know who you are, though, Borg. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm literally on that energy over there. You know what I'm saying? So God bless everybody. And, you know, I got a, I got a couple of things going on, too, man. I got the... Yeah, go to a place to go SC underscore SC, man. Go ahead. Bro, that out. shit been looking so lit. You look like you had every a rave night. in there. What? I mean, every it's, it's, it's usually like that, man. We have uh, you know, on Mondays, we not we usually close. I'm trying to close down on Mondays, you know what I'm saying? Go get me some oh, wow. But throughout the whole week, man, we got titty Tuesdays, we got sip and paint Wednesdays, we got comedy Thursdays, uh college night Fridays, uh bong fire Saturdays. Churches, church and soul food is on Sunday mornings, but you know the, the NFL games is uh later on that day. So we got NFL and uh Monday oh, night football, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be so dope. Wait, so that's outdoors though. It's outdoors, indoors. I got an indoor lounge. You know what I'm saying? I have a um uh, a bud bar inside of there. You know what I'm saying? You come get your bud bar, get your pens. Yeah, you go come get your pens. Come get your gummies. Come get the herbies, the CBD, the hemp. You know what I'm saying? That I'm dealing with right now. That's the only thing that's legal out here. Uh, shout out to High yeah. Hemp, you know what I'm saying? We collabing together, God bless. And um, I got my my outside restaurant, you know what I'm saying? My tiki bar at restaurant with my stage. You know, I do live podcasts. I do. So where do people watch the game? If it's Monday, right there on the football. TVs, all, all over. I got TVs in my lounge. I got TV at my oh, bar. Wow. I got TVs all throughout the uh, restaurant, you know what I'm saying? I got my kitchen out there. So y'all come out here, weddings, so I, bachelor parties. If I come to- back, if I come back, it's going to be like totally different from when I last time I was there. Come on, it's totally different since yesterday. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, grow, I grow every single day. When I grow every day, oh, that's man. your fault. You know what I'm saying? That's who you are. If I continue to see you for six months, you do you the exact same person you was, that's your fault. You wasted mad hours, mad seconds. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know how many seconds you literally waste, you know what I'm saying, for six months, if you really count it all together, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for that. So I want to be a better person than I was yesterday, you know what I'm talking about? So... Try to grow. Put yourself in a better position, man. Stop. Get off of the treadmill. And I don't care if you moving an inch at a time. You look good on the treadmill. You look great shadow boxing, but get in front of somebody. You know what I'm saying? All that shadow yeah. boxing, you look good. You look great. You know what I'm saying? All that swinging and all that. Ah, early. You know what I'm saying? That's not right. your boy. Now, I always got to, I always put, try to put myself in front of something. You know what I'm saying? So put myself in front of something that actually I can grow with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all that like shadow that. boxing and just, Go out there playing one on one basketball by yourself. Oh, nah, yeah. You ain't going nowhere. You look good. You can dribble. Nobody going after the ball. You look good. You're never losing it. You can yeah. shoot with nobody. You can, you're going to make the shot when nobody blocking you. You know what I'm saying? So it's peace. You look good out there, baby. And I appreciate all you. <laughs> hey, but I'd rather go an inch than sit there and be on the treadmill every day, sweating and everything, just like y'all. Yeah. You know what I mean? But God bless everybody, man. How you are we going to do the show? Yeah, yeah, all right. So friend. we got I got Big Low waiting. If you guys remember Big Low, Big she was Low. from she was from the Undeniable Truth podcast Ooh. under the Polymath Ooh. Network. Let me hopefully see what she, you got. Let me see. She got big. She, also, she got bad, uh, good service. The hell, you got going on? You can't talk today. There she go. Big there Lizzie. Go. You heard me. <laughs> <laughs> big Lizzie. No, Yo, Big Low. Lizzie. Low, can you turn your phone sideways? You might have to unlock the screen. Yeah, oh my God, you don't even know how to use these phones. Hold on. Girl, you watch porn. Stop it. 
Oh shit. Yeah, but after the good parts is over, I don't I feel shame. I <laughs> you mess up all the settings. I do the same thing. I ain't gonna lie. I delete everything. Wait, delete wait, wait. Real good uh you. emails and stuff because of my fucking porn. Oh, yeah. lock is there, there you go. There you go. Yeah, I knew what it was. I knew what it was. You change all your settings, you oh. you feel so disgusted, you want to change everything around. Come on, I, it went back. How you go act, back? Act, act, act like I'm one of the fucking. I don't know how guys. you want me to do I, Did you, what? you had it. What'd you do? You locked it back? Because when I turn the phone, hold on. Because I'm happy. You know, I don't know how to use iPhone. How about you had to it. FaceTime niggas? Yo. Oh, God, so you should know better. Everybody see your titties upside down? Yeah. Is it, it says all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There you go. Now there you, you go. Oh, there I had to turn go. it off, Angelo. You give me bad instruction, nigga. You know I don't know how to use these shits. Yeah, turn it off. You got to keep it off. All love, though. All love. What's all up, right, Big so, Lizzy? Hello, what up? <laughs> hey, y'all. I see you up in the car. Where you going? You on your way to something or your way back from something? I'm I'm working. <laughs> I take that. I take that. How you been? Man, I'm blessed, man. You see, I'm back here with the boats. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Oh, you down south? Yeah, I'm out here down down in the SC. You know what I'm saying? Coming to chill out. I'm out oh, there. I gotta I'm get a Mac Pro. So I can get a fancy background like y'all. No, no. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can't do this on your phone. But um, um and, and anyways, yeah, we're gonna get into an email that we got, um, yes, from anonymous. You ready, guys? It goes a little something. Oh, first of all, before we get into the email, Wax, can you tell uh our listeners where they can send us an email if they need advice or if they want to ask you something or ask us something? Yeah, hit us up at bullying the beast podcast at gmail dot com. I'll add us, man. If you want to jump in those DMs, you already know at bullying the beast podcast. I'll add us. Yes, sure. sir. Just uh, the email is the bully and the beast at gmail dot com. The bully and the beast I'm for the email. Up again. <laughs> the email is the Instagram is no the. That's how you gotta remember. But oh, anyways, so email no the. And Instagram no. Is the. All right. no, no, no. God damn it! Now I can see why Lori will be yelling at your ass because God damn it, it's the other way around. I see why you don't get no pussy. Shut up. Nigga. Oh man, you just now told me that. <laughs> The bring back the is tape. Instagram, right? No, the is Instagram, right? That is the email. That is the email. All right, so let's do that over right now. Is do you want to holler at us at the email? Yeah. Hit us up at the bullying the beast podcast at gmail.com. And if you want to hit us up in the DMs, like you always in the DMs trying to get some pussy, me too, sometimes. You know, so hit us up at bullying the beast podcast. Let's get Here. it. Come on. Here. All right. Hey guys, I need some advice. My man mm -hmm. and I. Been together for three years. Okay. We both have one daughter from prior relationships. My daughter is six years old and his daughter is seven years old. Okay. My daughter's dad is not in her life, so she looks at him as, so she looks at him as him as her dad. Jeez. We we both agree on how we parent her. Here's the problem. He doesn't correct his daughter's behavior. She comes to our house with makeup and crop tops. He doesn't like it, but doesn't say anything to her mom. She doesn't listen if she's not jumping around. She doesn't listen. If she's not jumping around, she's crying. If I try to discipline her by taking her tablet away for a few minutes, her mom will text her dad crazy all about me. Yet, he doesn't defend me. He will complain to me about how bad his daughter is. Is It's to the point I'm picking up shifts on the weekend so I don't have to deal with her. What should I do because everything else is good? This is about a seven-year-old, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you who, can't expect that. You who wants to go that. first? Wax, go ahead. Because Yeah, you can't expect that, you know, the, the second mommy. The second mommy, the only thing you are is, is, a, is a substitute teacher. We're going to throw apples at you on everything. You lucky that you ain't getting fucked up. So you should be okay <laughs> with, with just, you know, you know, <laughs> trying to correct her a little bit. But, you know, only I do is go to the pop a little bit more and be like, yo, I need you to hand you your daughter or... You know, make sure when y'all come together with like your other daughter, you take both of the girls. Like, oh, I'm taking the girls to go get their toes and nails done. And you re be really stern on them and talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Because if I go to a relationship and a woman have a, a son, I'm going to be on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on his heels because I'm just, that's who I am. I'm, I'd like that the people that I don't even mess with the mama. You know what I'm saying? If I see a young boy out there going the wrong way or doing some bullshit, I'm like, yo, bro, what the fuck you doing? Straighten up. Put your pants up. You know what I'm saying? Just like they used to tell me. Niggas in the hood used to come, oh, geez, be like, yo, Wax, pull your pants up, man. What you doing? Tie your shoes. Brush your hair. You know what I'm saying? So don't steal out of the store. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, always yeah, when you're older and you do something wrong, you still got to sit there and do it. 
This is different though, because this is guys. I mean, this is girls. Like you could tell a guy, because you know right is right and wrong is wrong. Probably in this girl's eyes, this young girl's eyes, that she doesn't think the way she's dressing and, and makeup is is bad. So you can't tell me oh, it's, not, it's not the same. Let me say this. Coming from a yeah. parent's point of view and a woman, first of all, there's so many ways look at this. So your child and your child lives with the both of you. So of course he's going to parent her different than his own child. Even though that's his blood, that child is not in the home. So that child comes to visit. Daddy has this much time to be you know, catching up with her, her daily life. The chest ties is not on the first thing probably on his priority, even though she may be bad. Yeah. It sounds like um, if you can't deal with the daughter, you might as well get the fuck on. Um, Seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, they're mouthy, they're annoying. Everybody knows this. I got a 15-year-old and a three-year-old. Like, I feel like, bitch, are you a little <laughs> jealous of the kid? Like, you little jelly? Because it sounds like when his daughter come around, you get funny because you like your fake family with your daughter and him. But when his daughter come around, that gives reality that that nigga's not all to y'all. You have to share. Sharing is caring. It's not like you don't want to share. It's not like you don't want to share with a child. It's making... And yeah, as a mom, I would text you, bitch, keep your fucking hands off the laptop, bad or not. She only sees her father for two days and a half. Mind your fucking business. But so she got she can't do whatever she want to do because I don't care how I many if, if it's short. She's got not she doing what over. the fuck kids do at seven year old. Let me tell you, I, I there's a seven year old child in my life and she's yeah. a girl. Make up. So, you know what I'm saying? Like they do what kids do. It sounds like the bitch just don't like the kid. It nah. sounds like she's tight. Listen, I ain't gonna I'm look at her as with makeup and crop tops and stuff, and I'm be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you got going on? Okay, you so hold on. We don't that. know if it's play makeup. You know, they come, it might be like a little makeup kit. They make crop tops for kids. My daughter just had a two-piece on the <laughs> other day. In she Jesus' like, name. <laughs> and guess what? They got a lot of pervs out there that might be their screen. Nah, in Jesus' watch that. name. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You see what you're saying? But these these in Jesus' names is niggas is out there. You well, know what okay, I'm saying? A way, so you gotta watch it. There's a way it. that it could have been a children's prop top. It just seems like that when her man has to be a father to his own child, I'm telling you, I see it. I I have kids around me. I have a Please. man with kids. I've dealt. So it, to me, I see it both ways. When it's time for him to be that daddy to that to his own child, you be you feel a little crunchy. It's okay. Just admit it. He's not gonna be. He's not gonna be the parent that he is to your child. The child that I see daily, I'm different than the child that I don't see daily. I have a child that's with a parent or lives with me. So I can't constantly be on him. I'm seeing him for this. We on borrowed time. We having a blast. Jump around. Yeah, Let your you. dad discipline you. Yeah, yeah. But even what I said, I don't see my sons like that. And when they come to daddy, I don't care. As soon as he come to me, he do something one, two. I'm going to correct that one, too. You know what I'm talking about? I, I'm got to correct it because I'm going to stay daddy. Girls? We girls and girls is told that's dead. why I cry. I'll be crying right now if I had a daughter. Like, really, yeah, tears so that's, are coming that's to my <laughs> yeah, is, Real shit. And I'm being a woman. Sometimes women be jelly. Like, she little, she little cranky. Like, you know, daddy's girls, daddies are never going to really be down their girl children. Like, that's impossible. No, so. no. Yeah, if I had a daughter, you're right. She's doing everything. My dog is biting people out of tears. Your phone. daughter's you know seven years old in the house. <laughs> yeah, she be like, Dad, you like my nails? My people, mm -hmm. his daughter just got her nails at seven years old. He was like, Oh, I'm not ready for that. But you know, it's okay. I'm not like, ready for it either. You don't think I wasn't sitting there like that's crazy. They let her, I don't have an opinion. Cause she yeah. has two parents. So homegirl, let the parents part. Don't lose a good nigga trying to um overstep boundaries. You do have to share him. Invite the daughter into the house more so she won't feel like that. Okay, so boom, having kids around. When kids come around me, they know what we do. We take naps and we have a blast. But we definitely take motherfucking naps, no matter yes. whose kids they are. I never make nobody's child feel indifferent. So maybe as an adult, you gotta reach out more. Kids be bad. And kids be the fuck back. You I don't think me? she's being a different though. I think she don't allow her daughter to do makeup in in um. Cause your daughter it, is six, it, six and seven are not the same age. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> six, one to ten is the same age when it comes down to girls for real. You know what I'm All saying? All I'm trying like, to say sheesh. doesn't make this kid bad. If if the kid comes to you, you can get a kid to do anything you want them to do if they like you. You can yes. get a kid to act any way you want. So as a stepmother operating as one, the kids Respect. come around me and they're like putty in my hands. Whatever. Yes. They yeah. don't want them to do. They doing that. We yeah. eating lamb time because they brain is on the positive. <laughs> so flip it around. Keep your man. Keep the child. He might murder you. You're being weird. But I tell yeah. you what. <laughs> now that you it, said you pick up a... <laughs> and, and, I, and I hear what you said because with, with the guy, with the boy, his mom might be on his heels like, all right. I might go over there in the back room like, yo, bro, what the fuck you smoking weed? Like, nigga, roll up around the corner. I'll meet you around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So I might look at you like, yo, bro, you fucking up your mom over here upset and shit like that. But when it comes down to we on the side, like, all right, little nigga, I know you smoke a weed right now, but it's the way to do it. Don't be, don't get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But there's certain way that men deal with boys and certain way that men deal with girls. I'm terrified of girls. You know what I'm saying? Just like to help him. Is. 
She needs to so help him. She needs to so, help him, but she's trying to help him though. And and and, and is like, fuck you, substitute teacher. She said no, that helping she's him and not telling him. Say something to your daughter. Say something to your daughter. Say something. That's not helping. That's bad for me. Now he'd come resent me. Now, bitch, you could go. That's not how you're helping him. He clearly has a problem helping daughter. Okay, let's say her name is Samantha. Samantha, come here, baby. Let's all sit down. Let's talk. Yes. Because niggas know what I say. Let's say, let's talk. That means I don't even like that. You scared me right now. Now you ain't even talking to me. Yeah. I hate when the women have to say that. That's scary. But you also, it keeps transparency with the kids. So you letting the kid know, I'm telling the other parent, you're doing bad shit to me. And you also force the parents to do, uh, we're doing this right now. Because I don't want to carry this on. If you love them, make it right with this kid. She's seven years old. Like, I don't know. I'm worried about you. Next. Mm, I think this motherfucking <laughs> lady is okay. I think the kid <laughs> is, like you said, kids is going to be kids. But if you're not prepared, the son is different. If you're not prepared for a daughter, you mother, you just can't be there because no, girl, I feel girl, like girls girl supposed like to get you. Awful, they supposed to get you. Awful bias because get it's an awful bias. Your child. Now listen to what she said. Her child is not the baby father is not in the child life at all. She thinks her and her child mentally that he's the baby daddy. But when he has to do something else, she feel funny. I'm telling you, I know. I mm -hmm. see it every day. These bitches hate that. They I'll say what they want to say. Oh, I love him because he's a good daddy. You love him because he play house with your kid. But when it's time for him to yeah. be a daddy to his, help him. Like he helps you with your child since you love him so much. Yes. He helps yes. you with your daughter, right, gang? So help him. So when the daughter comes, let me tell you something. This nigga daughter come, I buy two Barbies. Not just one because everybody yeah, wants to be Barbie girl. To. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm I don't care about. what the little girl looks like or what. It doesn't matter. I'm when you come out here, you're gonna feel love, you're gonna get with what you, I'm doing. You want to correct her though? What if she over there with lipstick and all that type of shit and crop top? If she comes in a door like that, first of all, she came from the other parents. So that's a lot of things you don't do and say to kids because you don't want to cause that confusion. Yes. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I could just bring the day and say, yeah, you know, she had well ass makeup on today. Uh uh, she won't do that here, but she could do whatever her mom feels she can do at her mama house. I, I, okay, so I'm when she there with you for, for the summer, say she's there for you with the cinema, on, the, on the summer. And this is how she's rocking. You don't want your daughter to start doing that, right? So it's like, yes. but how do you correct that? That's what she's trying to do at the end of the day. She's trying to correct this one but because, she have a, you know what, she's older. Something. Why did the father not? Because her father, this nigga would not let his kids walk around. You know what I'm saying? That's for the daddy, so maybe he didn't upset him. Sometimes people be picking. Why your man ain't feeling what's funny? Oh, he always complaining to me. And again, he might be telling you some shit, but he's really speaking about the parenting on the other parent. It's really his baby mother. The seven-year-old is innocent. She gonna do what our mama allowed her to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She don't, if you really mad about your child wearing makeup and stuff, how about you get her more often? <laughs> she just comes on a weekend, gang, doing a little makeup and razzle-dazzle around the house. Y'all born. <laughs> Shout out to Jesus. gang. Shout well, out to gang, I feel sorry for gang because gang is start gonna do that as a teenager and the gang gonna start there and be on the pole. We're That's not true. Not. You know what? Listen, Max? I, I, you I don't want I, but a bunch of haters. No, <laughs> no, no. The thing is, we don't want nobody to go the wrong way. We don't want we don't even want them to practice the wrong way. She you did see not what I'm send saying? us and no we pictures know... and for us to va validate. She might be being respect, theatrical. but but that's why on the bully of the beast, we're gonna fill up all these motherfucking holes. What I got in my motherfucking brain is she looking just like you right now <laughs> with the boobs out. <laughs> You got the crop top over with the mother. They was out when I first, you know what I'm talking about? The not out, Wax. You're a creep. And now Listen. I got to talk like this to y'all. There you go. Now... <laughs> there you go, Pastor Lady. I don't mad at yeah. that. But with the, imagine she got the hoop earrings on. You know what I'm saying? Imagine she got the got the, got the the crop top with, you know what I mean? Got a little, little, you know what I'm talking about? These guys out here like little girls. We, we're, we're trying to get her away from them. Don't live life how it's supposed to be. Live life how, literally how it is. These are the cars that yeah. dealt to us. We're in this world right now that got perverts. Guys who's grabbing little seven-year-old girls and stuff like that. Don't entice them at all. You're not a Burger King menu. You're not on the menu. Mm -hmm. We're trying to take you off the menu at all times. I, I don't want you like that because of this. Don't just be like, don't wear that and just, and just shut up and get out the way. No, no, no. Sit it down. Don't yell at her. Be like, this is what goes on. Show her pictures. Like, you see this young girl? She's seven. She got taken by these people. Like, this <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's, it's so many different ways to do it. No. <laughs> Show I mean, her those things and the daddy will if, never if, see if, her again. If, if you if you want to sit there, and I'm just saying, show her like what's happening out here in the world. Oh, or, 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 or talk to the, fucking 100 or, degrees out here. Yeah. <laughs> so at least at least talk to the dad, talk to the pop and be like, yo, show your daughter this. Show her why it's not okay to do that because we don't want to entice nobody, regardless of what. What if the father doesn't have an issue? What this is what y'all missing? No, no, she said she says the father has an issue, but he's afraid to talk to the mother of the seven-year-old. 
about it. He said he, it bothers and him. And why is he afraid yeah. to talk to the mom? If he's upset and pops, he wouldn't be afraid to talk to the mom. Niggas See, be afraid. having sex with each other. And I'm they be having sex You're afraid to see hey. You be scared? I'm afraid of my baby mamas and my mama. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm afraid of women. Like, every man should be afraid of women at the end of the day. I mean, it's, it's more of a respect free. Like I said, my mama and my baby, it's more of a respect free. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to let them down. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. But we're still scared at the end of the day. Certain things we just not going to say. We don't want to bark up the wrong tree or start an argument and certain like that. We can keep it cordial and everything peace. That's what we try to do at the end of the day. So if they, y'all, if they at your house and y'all, if y'all can correct it, try not to correct it to where she's, like you said, put the kids in the putty. Put them in your hand as, as putty. You can actually do that. Show her different ways. Don't be like, oh, you out here look like a slut and all that. You might get her to turn the other way. You know well, what guess saying? what? Also, you could say if kids, because sometimes kids come to that, she's not in full face makeup. I'm going to tell you what it is because, like I said, again, I'm around a seven year old child. No, yeah, there's they, no way. They come in the house, they got they, they nail kit and bullshit, little glitter. It's not nothing crazy. Like, it's respect, like, just relax, respect. lady. Yeah, How about respect. you sit down and <laughs> make up with them? How about you let your man see you mothering his child, not trying to see whose kid he, well, you told my daughter this, but you didn't tell your daughter that. Y'all be picking. The house is not peaceful, yeah. gang. Yeah. I don't like be, this. What is up uh, on the menu? The house sucks. Like yeah, that. because she out Come here on. picking. Like, oh, you doing makeup? You run makeup for me? I say all type of shit to the kids. That I, they, they eat it right the fuck up. Like, oh, you, you know, or, 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 you, or you should do it like this. And the next <laughs> thing you know, she's putting on less. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? It could be just a phase. Or it no. could be just a phase. It could, or that you phase could just find to be, your business. Uh, and if that's what the girl likes to play, it's just kitty makeup. It's not a full. I can tell you, a seven-year-old, that's what they get them. Nail pods. That's what kids do. My daughter be wearing press on. She's three years old. They got them at Dollar Tree. She wants to buy them. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> buy them for her. And she be like, <laughs> she's three years old. She does this, whatever. Don't kill. Let kids be kids. Be an adult. And again, lady, you yes. said that you pick up shifts. Well, I hate to tell you. While well, you're picking up them shifts. He picking up shifts. He's picking up them shifts. He find the bitch that's coming in the house like this. Your daughter? Yeah, Ooh. that's <laughs> you by yourself. I can help you out. Oh my gosh, the house right. is very yeah. it's a cold oh, world. Man, she freaking, she don't want. Uh, look like she want to be around your child. I done swooped up and stole plenty baby dads with my smooth talking ass. Now, nah, okay, that's you got your stuff. fucking boobs out. I don't have yeah. my boobs out, gang. All right, all right, daddy. Daddy. Then well, me and I want you to see. Well, you can see only right here, right? <laughs> Yes, you're good. So we don't get flagged on YouTube. But what if this daughter is really like the orphan or something? You ever seen the movie The Orphan or like one of those mm -hmm. evil children? What if she's really like fucked up? Like she's pick you know how bad of a child you gotta be for someone to pick up work on the weekends? Like fuck that, yo. I need some yes. shifts. Yes. How bad or she ain't got child. no patience. Yeah. <laughs> but she gotta have patience because she got her own. Or you must don't really like a child. Like I'm worried yeah. about this girl. Like she don't like this child. I'm telling you. I don't think it's really a show. I like had a child I didn't like before. And she was sick. She used to put powder in my sneakers. Oh, yeah, I hated her. I'm ready to say her name and the daddy's name so they know I fucking hated her. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I th well, I mean, even, even if you hate the kid, I mean, it's definitely a package deal. If you don't like the kid, get the fuck away from the mama or get away from that daddy if you don't hate that kid because she's going to break y'all up. And my mama ever tried to get a dude if I was young or like I'm saying, <laughs> my dad passed down. So if I was, my mama even tried to get a nigga right now, I think you want to have hell. You think that what the fuck are you doing? The wedgie time and everything. Booger Wax, you was big 40. Leave your mama. You big 40. Early. <laughs> Early. And big 40 <laughs> is motherfucking beating whoever Mr. John or Mr. Pete or Mr. John or, or, or David or nothing. Nobody Deacon. coming around. My daddy yeah, Deacon what? Deacon this, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? You like, get away from my mama. I like yeah. that. <laughs> All right. So what's now, this, if you got sons, I'm sure you do the exact same thing with you. You think he gonna let somebody talk to you? The fuck out of here. Man. I mean, do? but my son, I be telling him, um, boy, please, you, you your sneakers too. Uh, he's fifteen. Yeah. His sneakers be two fifty. He better relax and say hi to All right, such so... and such. <laughs> <laughs> Train him. What the hell he talking about? You better smile, look cute. <laughs> All right, so what's the, some advice we give to this shorty who's picking up work shifts? She she thinks her that her stepdaughter is doing too much with the makeup, um, but she loves her man, I guess she doesn't. She shows no sign of trying to leave him or anything or that. But what could what advice do we give her so she could not have to work and spend more time with her kids? Pretty much, love on a daughter a little bit more too. Grow up, you gotta I grow up. Love on her. I, I yeah, love on her. Since you say because I, I, I didn't. 
She said nothing positive about a child. She said nothing positive about a child. She probably ain't got nothing nothing positive to say about the motherfucker. (laughs) Oh, well, then that's your problem. Because girl children are a fraction of all the females in their life, good or bad. Boom, shakalaka. I believe that. that. So (laughs) how much of of your energy is penetrating that pure child energy to be your way? Because like I said, Bitches might send their kids with a message to me, some fly shit that the child might say, yeah, my mama said this, but I don't know why, because you just so nice. Yup, I am. So, yeah, be nice to the nigga. Yeah, because something, I'm going to have to put y'all in my, I'm talking to the ancestors about this, because this is, that man needs to run. Girl, find you a nigga who ain't got no kids you can really have them to yourself. Because, bitch, I'm on to you. Your man might don't be, but big low. (laughs) And, I'm, and, I, and I say, you know, if you really want and things to no work, the thing, shit, and, the, and the things that you really <laughs> want to actually work the most is going to give you the most problems. You know what I'm saying? So if you really, really want this, problems going to come with it. You got to get through the problems, the door to the problem, like she said. Get Try to get her on your side a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have daughters. She's seven. So I'm sure you could be able to, or you know, find a way to get to her. what kind of you have with that mama? Kids love to see when... Ooh. <laughs> They don't want to get When the me. moms unite. <laughs> nah, I mean, you can't, they, they're not going to unite so to the nigga until both of them get Let away from the nigga. Let me tell you, that's why that's so important right now. <laughs> That makes the kids act right because kids know. They know the baby moms is calling the day. They know. They come around, act funny. Listen to me. Shit be crazy. Please. Sometimes that's important. Bitch, I know I stole the nigga you thought you were going to be with and have a kid. We stole him. Please. But let's just let Please. bygones be bygones. We got these churn. I'm going to help him be a better man and a better father so you might as well just relax. Because a lot of times that happens. You get a good baby, baby daddy fuck when they go fuck with me. He's a better baby daddy. Because I'm all about hay rides in October. You feel me? Like, oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Doesn't fucking matter. Like, bitch, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Damn. Get a nigga that don't got no churn. Get a nigga that ain't got no churn. Hold if on. you wanted to work, girl, you got to deal with it for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, get get the kid on your energy a little bit. Start showing her things. Find out what she like and things she like to do. And then bring it on your side, you know what I'm saying? But oh, we about to do this. Like oh, I like that. You know what I'm saying? Certain sometimes, even though if I want my son to go cut the grass or do something, I gotta say I can buy you some Roblox. Something you just <laughs> gotta do. Who the fuck really want to buy all these fucking Roblox and shit? But it's just like certain things that you gotta do to just entice the kids. What do the girl like? Just fr- finally get into her. Now you start seeing her like starting to like you. Once they start liking you, it's really hard to get a kid to stop liking you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Once you start in the exact same way when they when they don't they don't, they don't like you, they're gonna find a way. It's really hard for them to start liking you after they don't like you no more. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, figure out what she like to do. If not, you got to get out of it because once the, the baby stop liking you and stuff like that, the daddy, especially a girl, my son don't like one of my shit. I'm like, nigga, shut up. Nigga. I'm trying to get some pussy too, nigga. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but my daughter don't like you. We really got to figure this out. Yeah. And the exact same thing with somebody's mama. If my mama don't like you, we got to figure this out. And my mom well, hold like, on. We don't like this girl. The children, the children don't like anybody, especially when you're half fucking the mama and fucking somebody new. They kind of feel like the person break up the family. Topic, been, right? It's so been cool. three years. It's been three years. They've been together. Who them? They've been together for three years. Yeah, so they've been together. So they, the baby was three. So how long? Did, when did you start hating the child, girl? We need more. Like every time you guys. Yeah, do this, that's weird. Yeah, when did you start exactly? About when did the child become so intolerable? I don't like it for you. Let me tell you about what happened with me down there where he's at. The bitch swooped in, my son 10 years old. Oh, nice. I just love him. He can get anything my kids get. Yo, soon my baby yeah. father married this bitch, Nightmare on Elm Street, you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> my what son's happened? living in some crazy room. They don't buy him shit. They act Early. like he's so bad. Oh, he yeah. got expelled. It nice. just became a thing. These bitches would play dumb. She had two kids from two different niggas and my baby father was a catch and he is, but I think he got problems because he fucked with her, but point of matter yeah, is too. she did what she had to do to get in position. Message to the other girl. Do what you got to do to get position before we start making some rules, bitch. <laughs> you can't make no fucking rules now, bitch. You can't make no it? rules, ho. Is it but long story the short, the girl did all that shit and, and my son hates her. The truth is out. Mm. And I, I'm, I, yo, bitch. I'm even gonna say your son, that. Your, your, your son, <laughs> tell, tell him to holler at me. I got, I got a couple of things I got him, he could do. Yeah, it, 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 it be like that. So sometimes, step my, I mean, to the point where she not even feeding my kids. She's acting like, oh, he's so intolerable. But her son's telling her, fuck her. But how, your son 15, you know what I'm my saying? My son 15 I, smoke weed. Her son early. drink up the Hennessy and put water back in the Hennessy bottle. All right, but guess what? When your son's smoking <laughs> weed out there, he got to feed himself. You know what I'm saying? But Because you, you know what? Have him start doing it now because I don't want him to be like me. I can't feed myself. I suck. <laughs> 
real shit. First of all, and I make sure my sons know how to cook. My son is from South Carolina. Let me guess what? He don't got he don't got nothing to worry about feeding himself. I'm a big chef. He got no worry about feeding himself. But what, one thing about yeah. it though. <laughs> Kids do what kids do. Y'all not going, his father right there, that's the whole thing. People got to let kids do what kids do. If you wake your son up, bitch, at 740, wake my son up too. Don't go downstairs and tell his dad he ain't get up and cause his dad to, to do some shit that going to have me do some shit to you. Like, yeah. come on, I hate y'all stepmama, bitch. Matter of fact, stepmama, bitch, hey, that's a nice. Even that ain't stepmama, nice bitch. Kid, that is mama too. <laughs> so your mama too over there ain't taking care of your son. Which one? Mama too, you you uh... Oh, well, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. There's certain, how exactly, I want you to know how you're caring for him. Because I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell me what you're doing besides telling his father what he's doing. My yeah. baby daddy told me the bitch talked to him in his sleep about Cairo. She just crazy. Like, these, some <laughs> tummy toes don't be right. So I want to say this. If the man's not chastising his child and telling his child yeah. to stop, he might be trying to exit from you. He might be like, yeah. turn it up on this bitch yeah, every time you see Get that you. motherfucker, yeah. I believe you there for two hours. <laughs> two hours and be motherfucking wax. <laughs> a nigga will leave you with his kid and go date. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's yeah. keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Babysitter. Let's go. So, we got so Wax, did you see this story that, about this football coach that got arrested for punching the player in the stomach? Yeah. Hey, oh, you know, man. I ain't going to lie to you. I grew up like funny. that shit. I grew up like that. You know what I'm saying? I grew with them coaches. You know what I'm saying? And so. You know it, it's totally different now. Everything is totally different now. If if y'all had came to the fucking football field when we was out there, we was getting our ass kicked by the coaches. What? The, what? Yeah, but we was doing was... we was doing everything though. We was doing everything though. We was wild. We was really <laughs> wild. You know what I'm saying? But at the coach, I don't say punch in the stomach because you, even that was just your own kid. You ain't supposed to be doing that type of shit either. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I I I grew that. You know what I'm saying? And we already knew like, oh shit, coach about to come. You know what I'm saying? We run it because we already know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Even when we yeah. in school, they coming to whoop your ass just like that. And we so, knew that we, now now if somebody come and put their hands on you, you ain't do nothing and shit type of that type of shit. Yeah, it's a little different. You know what I'm saying? But if motherfuckers out there, you know you did some bullshit, you know coach coming, he's gonna probably hit you, he's probably gonna get you. Everybody know Mr. Janello. Everybody know this nigga. This nigga just always come. Mr. Janello come, everybody out. <laughs> Let me ask you this though. Let's say oh, the, you, Italian, the Italian coach used to beat niggas, yeah. No, if, gonna come if, get you. If you let's say let's say let's say your son's playing football, you're at your son's game. He he misses yeah. a sack, and you see this guy running to the sideline. You see this coach go, "Yo, what the fuck, bro!" And punch your son in the stomach like this. Oh, <laughs> you like that? No, Yo, that so, coach so, is so, so mad. So, so, so you know what? So you know what? Me and me and my son gonna jump this nigga after the, after uh, after the game. <laughs> he gonna look at me. I'm be like, "Yo, we good, fam." <laughs> now now yo really fuck somebody up in the game now. You know what I'm saying? So that when coach, really when coach, when coach is going after after the thing, you know what I'm saying? After the fucking game, he going to his whip. We gonna meet him at his whip. That's it. Like every, it's consequences and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got, evidently, he know who he hit because he, he, he hit my boy like that. No way. But if my daddy probably would have seen how the coaches was doing us and shit like that, you know how bad we were. What about what about you, Lo? What if what if what if your son's playing football and you see the coach wiling out on him, punch him in the stomach? Say what? If if you're say your son's playing football or you're playing sports, you got kids playing sports and the coach. Um, yeah, yeah, I saw that. Um, I yeah. don't know what your immediate reaction is to run on the field. Like I don't know. <laughs> like my yeah. son is going to fight. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's my, all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be a full brawl. Like I don't know. Yeah. But this is my only thing. Even though the coach is wrong, it was kind of out of passion. You can't. I don't know. And then he was a volunteer coach or something. They said he wasn't even. Yeah. <laughs> listen, I, I listen. I yoke. I yoke one of my coaches up and threw him and threw him inside the door and pulled him behind. Had my foot on the door about to fuck his ass up. Like we we was different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we were totally different. We were like really the dudes on the block who came to play football. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't really like these these athletes. These guys are athletes now. Mostly what these athletes dudes do. And thank God. That they not out here selling drugs and, and doing the dumb shit that we was out there doing. But these guys are actually they home. They play video games. They they really they not out there with carpentry work and shit like that. They literally out there playing ball. They ball players. That's cool. That's a little different. We were just undisciplined niggas from the block who knew, was athletic. That's who they came and got. So that's a little different when it when it comes down to it. now. If he's one of them dudes who on the block who used to I, 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 and he might need a little discipline. Never punching the stomach. That's never cool. You know what I'm saying? I would never even like that. Like I said, my son got expelled from school or 
did some play and got 15 yard penalty and you punch him in the stomach, we still meet you at the motherfucking car, nigga. <laughs> but I ain't gonna be like, don't hit my son because my son gotta get older too. So I ain't even worried about that shit. Go ahead and do all y'all motherfuckers do all y'all shit y'all want to do to my kids. My boys, my boys is me. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get older <laughs> one day, family. You are a lunatic. And I'm just telling you, these niggas is going to be different. If they got your boy in them, do all you want to do to them right now. And the last thing you really want them to do is like, yo, daddy, this happened. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because me and my son coming to see you. I don't give a fuck who it is. And, and <laughs> do just like, all and the just, locker room. Listen, I'm going into the <laughs> locker room. We got to go talk to this dude. And if we can't see you here, we're going to see you. We're going to wake you up out of your bed, baby. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things you got to do. I don't know if this guy got a, a, a anger problem or he got a mental problem, something like that, to be able to do that. That is kind of harsh. I wouldn't say none of our coaches is winged off or the punches in the stomach, but we definitely got a certain discipline when we played ball. But we yeah. were different. We were niggas on the block. We he punched the fuck out like of him. He punched the fuck out. Nah, that I, 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 that's not cool. I'm not. I'm not and even going to sit there and say that. And cool. let me tell you how he did it. He did it like how uh, men abuse their wives, like short and hard. Like, really. <laughs> yeah, uppercut to the gut. Like, did I do it or not? Did I punch you, or did I not punch you? He's a nah. Yeah, that that guy. that that right there look definitely look like. That's not your first time doing an uppercut in the stomach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that just ain't your shit. Like even, even even when I hit the young boys, when I when I hit the young boys, my my thing is more of a, a jab, like bow. You know what I'm saying? Quick in the chest or something like that. If he hit him in his chest, his shoulder pads or something like that, smacked him back in his helmet and shit like that. I ain't mad at that. But you, bro, you see exactly where he wasn't even padded, and you punch this man inside the stomach. You know what I'm talking about? So Abuse. it's like that's kind of eh, eh, eh. I can't I can't get with that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna get with that. But I would definitely had uh if that was my boy. Even if that was like. Just one of the kids on the team that one of my, my son's boys or something like that. I'm going to go talk to him. Like, oh, how you feel about that? Like, nah, I ain't like that. My stomach still hurt. Like, hey, we about to go see the nigga. Let's go see him. Let's see what, <laughs> That's let's it. Let's I have a feeling that they were like that, too. And I want you to punch too. him. And I want you to punch that nigga in the stomach just like he punched you in your motherfucker. Because Wack is super ghetto. And, and I got you. I oh, want no. you to punch as hard as you can. Punch to get that nigga back. I, I wish people, when I was young enough, I wish people would told me that. But I end up getting niggas where I'm older now. So who gives a fuck? Holla at your boy. I'll at your boy. What else we got, man? I seen something else, but go ahead. Let me see what you got, brother. You too, what you see? I got one, but it's like an imagery. You all seen this um this KFC ad in Canada with is or the black people eating chicken, it's exaggerated, and I don't know. Oh, you can't see that shit. It looks crazy, but it's pictures of black people eating chicken and they're licking their fingers and Okay, what happened? They said it's finger licking good. What's the problem? Yeah, the it's all it's only good. black people. In the advertisements, eating chicken. Tell you I, white, bro. Nobody give a fuck about that shit, bro. We eat chicken, nigga. The fuck. I like chicken, nigga. You, what you got watermelon chicken right now, right here. Y'all got me holding it. Y'all make that what, shit be a thing. I like that, that shit. The fuck. Wait, what country? Canada. All right, niggas like chicken and fucking. We like chicken no, and pussy. What I want to know is Drake. What the fuck you gonna do about it, Drake? Drake. <laughs> what is there to do about it? Like, what the fuck is the problem? Yeah, I like KFC. Because Cannon is saying that you niggas are some chicken eating niggas. That's the problem. <laughs> All right, so what the fuck is the problem? They try to say black people eat chicken. Duh, nigga. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are y'all talking dude, about? They said that um, a Canadian KFC marketing campaign is receiving backlash on social media after many users find the imaging to be culturally insensitive. I, so, I don't give a fuck. Who's yeah? I don't care neither. For real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not offended. I love KFC. That's how I, how I literally look when I eat chicken. Yeah. Um, and you white. Never I'm seen white. you eat chicken, right? Speaking of which, never seen you eat a chicken bone. I ain't never seen this nigga eat chicken either. I see I see I see him eat a fucking uh a boneless a motherfucking uh <laughs> a, a yeah, he's like burgers and no pizza. I ain't never seen you eat no motherfucking And he even eat pizza white, fold it up and everything. Yeah, man. Come on. Oh, man. I ain't talking about right. you. Now, I, I forgot who I seen. I seen my uh, I got fresher. He was on the on a um on a on a podcast or whatever. He was talking about um uh, would you still be with a girl or you marry a girl that your dude have fucked? And I'm Ooh. like, and, and one of the guys on there was like, one of the guys on there was like, that was like 10 years ago. This I don't care about that. You crazy as a motherfucker. If my boy touched you and you was his first girlfriend, I'll fuck you too, but I'm not marrying you. <laughs> Married. Ah, man, you gotta I think be it also super. depends on the relationship between the two guys. Like, nigga, if it's somebody you just speak to, don't fucking play in my face. 
I, I, but, but I put it like this. Like, so say if, say if you dealt with a dude when you were 17, but you, one of his best friends, you 34 right now, you think your man care? Or you think your man wouldn't never wife you? Like marry you, marry you. He'll fuck you. But he, I don't know if he's going to marry you, marry you. If I dealt with a nigga that he knew when I was 17. And y'all fucked that 17. I think if a nigga still in this. Okay, let me say this. So this what be going on out here in the hood. If y'all are still, y'all from New York, y'all live in New York, I come, like, yeah, that's still going to be a thing. But not if you're not around. I Like, I tell people in the hood that married now, run. You you marry somebody in the hood, they have bodies. You have bodies. Get the fuck out the hood. Get the fuck y'all out be the in hood. the club. Y'all be in the club with the rest of us. We be looking at y'all fucked up on asses. Me, y'all done got fucked so much, you need to get the fuck on, like, and y'all married. Looking at people like, no, just go. Because that's how things get. I feel like, that's, I mean, for me, like, yeah, just, yeah, just go. Angelo, if you know that sus smash your girl. Get the bitch and run out of town. Be happy. And, Don't and, let and, your man dick Ten back. years ago. Ten years ago. Would you still be in love with your girl where you are right now? Yes. No, no, no. I don't know, bro. I'm a sicko. I, I, you know? I don't. I think that as long as you don't got kids, you got no kids. You got to look. I don't know. Depends. Yeah. Right, so, right, so, <laughs> right, listen. I right, so let's let's do it like this. Even crazier. So say say if um you just met a dude, right, and y'all got real cool, and then she tell you your shorty be like, damn, I used to I used to talk to him when I um when I was in college, my first year in college, we had sex a couple of times, and then it never went nowhere. And you and now he want to go out the court, want to go out with you. He a cameraman too. Y'all going to do gigs and shit. He called me and, to do uh, gigs. What are you going to do? I mean, I, I'm I, 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 I niggas a dub. Fuck that. That's crazy. Well, I, I, I can't be cool. I'm not leaving my girl over that. I don't know. I'm happy my girl's not like that, bro. I'm, I'm happy. I, that's never had happened. I'm, to that's me. what I'm saying. We asking if, if, if would, so. You stop talking to him, or you stop yeah, talking to her? Like, yeah, but we can't. I can't fuck with him, bro. I, I, I you know. That's so the right. exact same way. So the exact same way. No, he dead in the friendship, not the girlfriend. Why is he not dead in the friendship, though? And it's just a friend. And they, they fucked years ago. So what do you care for at the end of the day? You see what I'm saying? Ten years ago. I just ago. around. Yeah, I but I don't want him around, around no more. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't. Yeah, I know. And I know people like that, too, that have their... Well, no, because... Let like, me we say both this. fucked her. Like, what? Sometimes... It's like picking the wrong friend, basically. Like y'all don't always know the potential that y'all are gonna have. If I found out what one of my boys at seventeen, the girl that I'm thinking no, about no, married, I don't that. give a fuck. A lot of people were not the man that they might be the man now, but some niggas was the man. Some people maintain. So at seventeen, you know, shift. It's like culture shifting. Nigga was lit. Seventeen, y'all gave him some buns. The fuck you gonna fault me, gang? <laughs> you was not that nigga. But not I, 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 I that hear nigga. you, but just me knowing that this dude smashed and I gotta see him again. Yo, that doesn't matter because us. guess what? This is what I'm trying to tell you. That seventeen year old pussy ain't got nothing on grown pussy. You crap. And that grown pussy that. ain't that grown pussy all loose. <laughs> oh, that was loose ass fucking pussy out of here. Yo, you know what? Right? tight like the motherfucking yo girl. The fuck wrong with you? People like, I know how to move it better. You got the exact same moves. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, your, your back got longer? Like, what the fuck? You can't oh, do nah, more than you do before. Yo, what different the fuck moves you thinking? Oh, I'll pop, also... I be popping that pussy on that thing. Ain't no different moves. Y'all got the exact same moves. We act like y'all doing something different, but y'all doing the exact same shit. It's going in and out. It's only in and out. What other way is it? It's in and out. What? Just because you be having born sex with a white woman, you be um, having to pay you. Oh, you man. don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know what? They really can't move that well. You're right. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm dying. Nah, but I'm just saying, at the end of the day, it's like, why you feel like, oh, that 17 year old pussy ain't got nothing? Like, that, that don't even make sense. You know what I'm no, saying? No, what I mean that is. That nigga 17... know how your pussy feel. He know how it is. No, because like, you don't really... know how to, you're not fully experienced at 17. That's what I mean. Like, that's like the fact. Yo, if I see a dude right now, I know I used to fuck this girl, and this dude come over, it's my wifey, la la la, and I'm over like, damn. Only thing mm -hmm. in my head, on my head, I'm thinking how she was sucking my dick. I'm visualizing her sucking my dick while I'm over here, like, oh, bro, what's good, man? Nah, she's a good girl, she cool, peace. You know what I mean? I'm visualizing her sucking my dick right there. That's all. That's that's what a man we have to do. That's all we have is like visions and shit like that. I know exactly well, that's how. That's kind of weird that you're visualizing that as. I'm yeah, sorry. Probably... Angelo, when you see a girl and she with her guy, are you visualizing you, you fucking her or her sucking your dick? No. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't be doing that, honestly. 
because it's, I'm yeah, you can't ask Angela questions like that. He's in a whole relationship. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. <laughs> you know exactly what you're talking about, nigga. Like, uh, All right, so uh, let me uh, let me switch around on woman then. Let me switch around on woman. So when you see a dude and he and he got his new shorty, you don't look at him like, man, I ain't never met him. You know what I mean? Just just a visual in your head before you could be cordial. You be like, hey, how y'all doing? Peace. Nah, you don't nah, think about I, y'all sex at all. It would have to be. It would have to be some crazy shit for me to be like, damn, gay. For me to even have a flashback or even think about that. Because a lot of times <laughs> niggas be in the way. I'd be glad when they bring a thing around. I'd be mad nice. Uh, hey, girl, because, girl, he's annoying. He was not doing it. I, so to I, me, I, I, like, but when, when, when you ate your pussy right, you had a good, great sex night. Let's do it like that. Because that's usually how it's supposed to go. You but know even that's still, if it, let me say, if I feel a way, like, most I'm going to do is hit a nigga line. For what, though? That's what I'm saying. Why? Oh, because I just gotta remind you when I teach you this other bitch how you used to do that thing in life. But that's what, <laughs> yo, Angelo, is that what I'm saying? Her. Isn't that what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> that's literally what I'm saying. If, if, if I'm about to marry her, evidently all that gobble oh, no, gobble, the reason why I'm about to marry her and shit is the reason wait. why he, he's not still a, thinking. Not a nigga that's with my homegirl. Hell no, but my homegirl would not do that. Cause I feel like this. Anybody that ever fuck with me, oh, 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 you feel me? I feel like, yeah, you gotta just know. Come on, bitch. How far are you going back up? <laughs> Country hoes by the end of my fucking Alex, mm-hmm, bitch. Yeah, I don't know. Like, how far is she going back up? She's backing up too far. You want people to know how to drive out here? Oh, oh, oh peace, peace, peace. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the chick. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, you just now said it. You going to hit the nigga line and you going to be like, oh, I see you with that bitch and all that. These no, 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 that's not what I said. Is. You said why. You asked me why would I hit the line. I'm telling you I would hit his line because, simply put, I was reminded at that moment that you do things that I like. And I ain't got nothing going on, so me and you got something That's going on. That's why the nigga don't want you around his girl. If I, if I walk in the room, I do not want no other man in there who know how my shorty I want to marry, pussy feel, look, anything, and how her throat take and look. You know what I'm saying? Because if this nigga getting head from you, I damn sure not going to want to be in the fucking room with a dude that you sucked his dick. That was heavy on drugs? At 17, that was heavy before bitches knew what head was. Save, save you's at 27, y'all 37 go, go now. 3,000. 27. You mm-hmm. don't ah, y'all think y'all doing more. Y'all ain't doing nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you think you doing more with your mouth? You only got one mouth is one hole. Um, um, you, you um, only right. <laughs> no, Why you think you that you doing that guap wop more? You making more noise? That's shit. We just no, make y'all because feel good. it's so funny. People do develop skills along the way. You mean to tell me that you don't think that nothing has changed about this? So you've been fucking the same way since 17? You could go right to hell. I think I fuck a bunch of bitches because I don't motherfucker. I don't want to do the exact same shit. I got to do the same shit. It's only a certain amount of moves. How many more times you go around the circle? You do it this way, you turn this way side, front, missionary, they go to right this side. You go nah, upside. that's not what true, bro. What you want to do? Yeah, okay. Angel, you shut your two foot ass up. Not I know nothing. your ass ain't doing more fucking. The, there's a girl that got a, that got a BBL since high school. Like she got a surgery on her body, so that she shit is worse. It's worse. Like, like, let me test it out now. That shit worse. <laughs> said, let me test it out. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. No, that, that, that that's, that's like that's like putting that's like putting twenty fours on the, on the bends. Leave them bends Yo, sizes Angela on said, there. You know Angela what I'm saying? Said, let me test it out now. Let me see how your scar is healed. Word up. Ah, <laughs> it feels different. It feel it's not the same. It, it's 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 not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, that's so funny today. But, Exactly. That's it. Exactly. It's not the same. That's why you go back. But you, it's worse. It's worse. <laughs> it's worse. It's, it's not. It's not the same. It's like you know it is not. It's not the same, right? It's not the same. No I don't way. Know. I'm in a real, listen. Real. So you never you went what? back to some pussy. You never went back to some pussy. Like ten years. Like I smashed ten years ago. Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Talking to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You what do you it all the time. So what are you talking? About? Yeah. So. Yeah, you do it. Time. I'm celibate. <laughs> but Wax has, Wax has a lot of um foolish thoughts, you know, like like his um logic is like, not yeah. logical at all. Let me hear it. What, what, what's the worst one or the best one? Let me hear it. What about it's definitely not the best, one? but the worst, that'd be like your best. Your worst is probably your best, knowing you, because you're like, huh. I don't know, you say all type of stupid shit. And then you throw in a razzle dazzle of Jesus is Lord, and I'm gonna be a preacher. I'm gonna be a preacher. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, but let, let me let me hear the razzle dazzle. Let me hear it. That's the razzle dazzle. The whole but this, speech he, about he, uh, he, Jesus is Lord. No, hey, no, no. That that. Uh, oh, so tell me the other part. What part don't you think that is, is uh, logical? I think everything I usually say is. Oh of, yeah, I most of your thoughts about because your thoughts like for you to be a big freak, uh, a whore type person. 
You got to be judging. You can't you can't be with a bitch no, no, one of your no, bands no, by the no, fuck no, door. No, no. I mean, listen. Like, I don't well, deserve day. you to have some pride when it suits you. No, no, a thousand percent. I call myself a whore. I used to be one. I'm not. I'm not all out of control like that. Like I, like I used to be. But I did used to call myself a whore. Other people call me a whore. People call me nasty. People say fuck you. People say you. And then when people do the exact same I, the thing I do, but they're a female. Why? Why not call this motherfucker a whore? Why not call her a slut? Why ain't saying fuck her? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, but why? You, but why I'm you think a woman like that's not good enough for you when that's. Your woman's gonna be a, a mirror, a reflection of you. I don't make this stuff up. That's nah, what the nah. universe says. You know what? Because I'm, when you I'm meet these whores, re- you need to grab them because they is coming to you no, as respect, you. Re- respect, respect. We always say the girls that's in the church more was the biggest whores. You know what I'm saying? The guys. Now you I know, all I know, the church girls. I'm just saying because I know <laughs> being a pastor at the end of the day, so I know I was really oh, out so you know, there. Right, I did as all that type of shit. You know how I'm calling? I'm I'm looking like that because I I need only people who want to be all the way right is the people that was all the way wrong. People who yeah, never I mean, felt like they they were really a problem at the end of the day, they're gonna stay in the middle forever. But if you was all the way down, you like you never gonna stop trying to come up because you was that far down. So that's a mode of yours. But if you only gotta move up a little bit at a time just to stay in, you know what I'm saying, to stay in the motion, you're gonna stay there forever. I came or, all the way from the bottom, bottom. Did I you know what I'm saying? The sharks and the motherfucking alligators at my feet. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't got no choice but to go all the way up to be a pastor, you know, try to do things way more positive because I used to do things. I was a piece of shit, but when I was a so piece of shit, so could you do that without women, being a pastor, without religion? Um, I mean, you can do it, but at the end of the day, so we you are know, spiritual we beings on the universe. We Listen, are. I feel like I feel like I'm a pastor now when I talk to certain people. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's, it's just I I know I have a calling. We are alien okay. superstars. You're what Beyonce said. Man, I respect. You know what I'm saying? I just I just know certain things about me. When you know you're calling, you do it. Some people, how you be like, how you know he's going to be a basketball player? Yo, but player? guess what? It's God's going to get tired of you playing double dutch. You either jump in the rope and get the I just heard again. a message. I heard yeah. a message like that this week, and I posted on my page. You know what I put under it? I put me. The oh, I didn't see like, that, but guess what? Yes, I'm the lady ready. said, "Is it, oh, we got all these Christians out here. You wonder why game. people ain't following y'all and all this other type of shit because you out there with them <laughs> blowing down in the club and shaking and you up in the choir. And I'm like, damn, I was out there hustling with them on the block, knocking niggas out, and then I'm on the drums. You know what I'm saying? In church, like, yo, praise the Lord. That's called grace from God. I got the grace and I got the mercy, but you know, certain ways to look at it. And I wanted to tell that Miss Lady, you know what I'm saying? I you never know why God did that. We all got our own journey. You see what I'm saying? So if God put me out there to go out there to do that, Christians are judgmental. Like, let me tell you, I don't. Some I, ju- don't I put smoke myself. And drink, <laughs> they are horrible people. I don't give a fuck if you smoke and drink. <laughs> no, I hear you. And they rest I'm Pentecostal, so you know I know Dang, the worst. I'm Pentecostal, straight up. You know what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm trying no to tell you. We know. Wearing ass bitches. They like. out in the way. Right. <laughs> let's get oh yeah, let's get into black excellence. Let's get into black excellence. We got black excellence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. No, no, no. We got, I got a couple this week. So we, I don't know if you remember Simone Biles. Um, she was yes. killing it in the Olympics back in like 2012. Yeah, she got a she man was... now. And um, yeah, well, <laughs> that's funny as hell. Well, she makes history becoming the first gymnast to win eight all around titles at man, the United States too. Gymnast Gymnastics Championships. So congratulations to her. Congratulations. I think it said that she was the oldest to do it too. Yeah, she's the oldest yes, to do it. Bro. She's only 26. So it's crazy. No, that's twenty six nah, and she's rich. She's really, Tim really dope. She's yeah. really dope. Like, I can't even imagine. Even I'll get dizzy looking at her. So imagine actually doing the motherfucking shit. Yeah, yeah she's killing. Yeah, that's good. Go, good for you, Simone. All right, yes, so you sir. know what I was saying earlier with that, I mean, with that sex you. shit. Oh, right, I, I'm bullshit. Simone probably do better moves than your ass. She out that motherfucker oh. rocking. Simone, what? Yeah, she I'm not a motherfucking. Man. I'm a gangster. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm pecking this nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Shout out yeah, to yeah. yo. Shout out to everybody who topsy turvy. All the kick girls that used to do cartwheels. I never did none of that. Yeah. I don't even know how to yeah. jump no double dutch. You feel me? Yeah, okay. Like I'm Hilarious. just like a hood fixer, but not really a hood fixer. Next flashlight, nigga. Next yeah, for, uh, for next for Black Excellence, we got uh, Earn Your Leisure. They threw their Invest Fest a couple weeks ago. And they had oh, over there, like these guys, twenty thousand people there. Uh, Lo, am I mis- not mistaken? But y'all are from the same area, right? Or yeah, as, shout as, out to well, I'm from White Plains, right? Big city of White Plains, and they're from Greenberg. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, we all from the Westchester area, so shout out to Rashad. But I like these they guys, doing big man. fucking moves. That shit was crazy. Yes, Yo, Angela, they told me you was out there being a bird. 
No, no, nah, I was, was definitely in Ernie your leisure, they say. Ah, that sounds like him. That sounds no, like him. I they actually... had double, dutch, double dutch, all type of cookout <laughs> shit. Hell that that sound like uh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. No, I got dogs. One of the mans in there, I don't say no names, but one of them brought back a shorty, and I went to drop off his boy. I came back, and they was in my bed. Yeah! Yeah! It sounds about right. They get me. Every, I get got every time, Wax. <laughs> Why no, me? You're totally right. Like, of course we go to his bed. I dare y'all go to Wax's bed. That girl, y'all leaving out the girl staying. <laughs> Whoever tried you, they tried you because you partial. You should have called me. I would have got niggas to fuck together. Everybody like that. That's what I said. That's what I said. He looked at your like, shoes, what? family. Yeah. He, he yeah. looked at your shoes, man. He had, probably had shoes tied up a certain way. Nah, He's going to be tied up shoes, nigga, room. Yeah. How was anybody in your bed when y'all had the whole house, right? How was somebody in your bed? Because two people that didn't have the Airbnb with us came over. One of the guys who... No, uh, okay, so Angelo, next time you travel, don't never travel... Another on this nigga pillow. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> Angelo, they tried to play with you. I would have woke niggas up. Like, I know one thing. I know who ain't sleeping nowhere but me. They nah, hold on. They, 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 they would sleep when they were smashing. They were just smashing. They came out right after. And you went to so sleep back in So what was you going to do? Use a cheek? <laughs> no, it was... It was <laughs> it's funny because I who think... Who was I, that trying to do something like that? I mean, and now I'm going to go through all the pictures so I find out who. That is funny. No. So the thing is, everything was left on the bed the way I left it. So I, they must have just stayed standing up. Unless they put everything back on the bed the way I Yo! left it. <laughs> the girl was from the girl was from home. The girl was from back here too. No, nah, no, nah, ATL shorty. But I think she was she bro, even better. Like, was it a woman or was it a man? It was a, a woman girl. Man. No, definitely a girl. Definitely a, 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 a bitch. bop. No, definitely a bop. <laughs> but a listen, bro, bop. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, a young busy got crabby. You know what I'm saying? And you you go like this. How you how you feel? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah I'm not itchy. Nothing pulling. Bed? Now, did you Every, sleep on the bed for real? I, I like I had hats on there and everything was left. Like I had ball caps on there. Everything was uncrushed. So, they, so I would have been. So they just went to the bathroom for all of that. That's what I'm saying. Why'd go I, I don't know. I don't know. What, what happens? I came it's back. It's because Angelo's partial. It's because he's partial. If he was full like us, they wouldn't have tried that. Nah. They was trying. Yeah, I gotta lie. I'm leaving some details out. Like he did ask. Like I came back from dropping his boy off. Oh, see, that's and, the white in you, leaving out details. That's yeah, the white that's what I'm saying. That's you about to get somebody and locked up and, and shit. That's I came back. I came up. back. He was in the kitchen. He's like, yo, bro, this girl, you don't got a bathroom in your room? I was like, no. He goes, yo, this girl, is, she, she's she's in your room, bro. And I was like, ah. He's like, I'll be right back. I was like, all right, cool. And he was in there for like two hours. And I, I didn't end up getting, I was just watching oh, TV till like Angela, 7 a.m. They housed you. They housed you. This nigga was sleeping on the couch. Yeah, they housed you. They housed you. They housed you. They house you. That's what it's called. Hey, you got house you. Your fucking oh. shoestrings, bro. They this is a shoestring, you, man. Shit. Oh, yeah, I'll be back two hours later. He ain't even let you come in the room. He ain't yeah. let you come in like back in the day. Bitch, you wait. Bitch, said, turn around and two niggas back there. Did you go to the door and listen at least? <laughs> Yo, it's so funny because I was like, I got to get something out of this. And then every time Bro. I try to walk, the floor would creak. And they stop. <laughs> I'm dying because they got you. Um, they got you standing outside the, the fucking yeah. door with a camera in your hand. Looking sad. Talking fuck about polymath. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He poly his own math. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was like, you know what? Never go with these niggas again. Yo, bro, did you get horny hair? Her, 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 get smashed? Nah, nah, it wasn't all like that. It wasn't all like that. Nah, I was like, damn, this girl's really oh, a shit. Thot. Just, I'm like, I was what like, what time girls... of night was it? Bro, it was late. It was like they because we all stayed up till like five in the morning, six. All in the right, morning. so what time do you get horny? Everybody got a horny time. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't get horny at night. Who was directing episode Wax? Because he's crazy. No, <laughs> 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 nah, not no. like that. Not, not, I don't do the I don't do the live porn vibes. I'm not a, a, that that type of guy. Live porn yeah, through like the it. wall. Nothing like it. Nothing like you still watch regular porn, then you got a problem. I think you're, you're not a boy, you still, yeah. You're not a boy, yeah. If you still watch it, uh, girls could do it, but if you a man and you still watching going on it and typing in a uh, fucking big titties or like <laughs> fat pussy, something you're a maniac. The fuck is wrong with you? No, if you because, if you pay for it, if you pay you for porn, for the like fantasy, no girls can do that. You can do that. No, no, no. I'm I, saying even for a nigga like a because it's for the fantasy. These bitches do not be giving. What these bitches do all that woofing on the internet, showing y'all all that body, they be boring as shit. Or they don't be giving. I, niggas I wanna, the same niggas thing. want that What's wild the difference? ass. What's the difference on the porn? It's, it's porn the exact same shit. Bitches are happy. They all over the place. They, you know, I don't know. It's just a... <laughs> That's the other you like. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying as a man, like, how you feel like, how, how stupid do you feel like 
oh fat pussy click. What do you watch? What, what do you what are you supposed to put on there? Dominicanas. I, mean, I, did, I used to do like landlord sex. Most of niggas put most a lot of landlord niggas put sex. niggas on niggas. No. Maybe I just... <laughs> 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 nah, I'm gonna keep it real. Lately, I've been seeing bitches busting niggas left and right. Like, oh, like what is going on? Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. That's what I'm saying. I get, I get to control it. You get the live porn. I get to control what's going control on. Control it. I get to roll it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Do you like throw so ones? Like, you yeah, have to yeah, pay for that, right? Around. But I'm just saying that the thing that you pay for, you just pay for it in the ones. You throw in the ones, they pick it up and they go. Keep it moving. Uh-huh, perfect. It's peace. Yeah, it's better than motherfucking looking like a fucking crazy ass guy and putting in a fucking a search. Of what the fuck you want to watch right now? What the fuck no. are you watching? You feel the stupid, worst though. is putting in credit card information into this <laughs> website. <laughs> you're a maniac. <laughs> Wild. Wow. You're paying right, this last... stuff that you can literally get for free. <laughs> literally, go to a strip club at least. I had a blast with y'all last. But um, well, let me uh, let's do one more one more black excellence before we, we get into the best uh topic best segment of the. Podcast. We got French Montana partners with Gamma and others to donate 500 canoes to Makoko community in Nigeria. Oh, blessings, man. I love um, it. Um, yeah, French Montana, 38 year old Moroccan native. Respect. Man. Um, I guess they had mad floods, so he brought African canoes. native. Yeah, he's he's an African French yes, Montana. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah Moroccan. God yeah, blessings, brother. Yeah. God bless me. I love shit like that. I would love to be in position to you know go to a place and I want to change their whole. Situation, like I'm sure them canoes could be able to, you know, help out with the food and, and yeah, exactly. What the fuck they got going on? So I would love to go somewhere and, you know, I love I see or I see people go over there and bring a bunch of shoes to the kids and stuff like that in school. I will, I mean, I, I'll be in position. I love that, this. but I also I do be loving that because I'm, Af- I'm I love the diaspora. This was called diaspora. Mm-hmm. I love Africa and mm-hmm. everything. But what about everybody right here? Niggas need boats, right? Yeah. Every time it rains in Florida, they need boats. I mean, no, I these know. guys need really needed these guys. I just yeah, looked at the yeah. photo. They really needed some canoes. Like they, that's on, their, they don't have cars. About? That's how they travel through canoes. Like they, canoe? they, they said this shit boosted their economy. <laughs> yes, God bless. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, they put yeah. some carts and shit over there, man. Could Cause... you imagine? Yeah, no, every place you got to get to. All the freedom everybody got over here. They got they they could get jobs and shit. They could get all this type of shit over here. A lot of motherfuckers just don't want to work over here. I'm saying I know we got mental health people with shit like that. God bless them. At the end of the day, God gonna bless you. He gonna give you daily bread. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you're gonna eat sleep and shit. You won't be okay. But over there, we're talking about real poverty. Like these motherfuckers, they eating different. And I mean, let them know. Oh, you right, you right. All these niggas over here get a job. Like, come on, bro. I give enough money. So it's fucking up their crops and stuff. They yeah, can't make all a living. Shit, they can't even rock. Yeah. Man, we got all we got corner stores, man. We got poppies. I love over. I love Nigeria. And I'm I'm not going front. When it comes to Nigeria, you gotta get them everything. Cause those are those niggas, they with the Sumerians and all that. Ancient times for Kemet niggas. I always Somalians. I love <laughs> Samaritan. Su su S U M E R I A N S. Oh really? Google it. Okay. Yeah, I think I thought you meant like I thought you meant some I thought you meant like Samaritan. Oh, I know what I mean. Cause I just what you mean? What you mean? They 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 need they need something over there or like what? I mean what that mean? those is like to me. I think that don't you know those are the our ancestors like super. Negroes, so I yeah, definitely think yeah. Nigeria needs to have everything. They're so smart. I love them. I be watching Nigerian podcasts, movies. I want to be Nigeria. I'm Nigerian. I'm forty three percent Nigerian. I thought you was Nigerian. Yeah, my mom, not my dad, obviously. That's white. That's <laughs> <laughs> my phone name, right? You never know. I, tell, I ain't about to get into it about Italians and the Sicilians. That's black. Y'all want to hear me now? Wax, what you say? Did about you want to say you something? You're just regular black. No, I am. Um, I'm actually crazy. Patient. About it. No, I'm white. You know what I'm saying? I'm sixty-two. I'm sixty-two percent Caucasian. <laughs> no. That's why I can say certain things to white white people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I kill you all the time, I kill you every show because I'm white too. So I can say, oh yeah, me too. Just, me just, too. just like just like Angela Flay, he can say nigga. <laughs> if I could do, he could do it. But his black side could do it. Angela my white side, I can crack on white people because I'm white. Mom is black. The rule, we didn't make the rule. The rule is a sin of black makes you all Negro. He got he, half a Negro. He's could say nigga. 
And he yeah, doesn't say it that often. Like he doesn't be in rides saying it with his friends that are not. You gotta get me real angry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he do too much of that type of shit. I can't. Now Angelo went to like too that. many basketball games this summer. He he was niggering out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out. She was doing too much. I'm sure a bunch of people looked at him too. Like, right, oh, you know yo, what? low. You know, I, you what happened? What I brought, to... When I brought wax to uh to Vanity Friday. Yeah, we had a ball. <laughs> Word. I, ain't gonna lie, I was kind of scared. I was kind of scared, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, that's all my people. Not being there. from Newark, you wasn't scared. Nah, nah, it's here. not. But the thing is, it's like when I go to a nicer place. Like if I go to Newark, I'm, this is me. I, I know what time. <laughs> I, know, I know who to look like. I know the nigga Diddy Bop, and I know the nigga. Uh, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? But when I yeah. go to the White Plains, or I go to like yeah. Sunnyside and shit like that, if I go to McCollister's house, that's when I'm scared. Because yeah, it's like watching a frat party. party. What you doing around here? <laughs> ah, I got a place. That's when I'm scared. When I'm in Newark, I look just like the rest of these niggas. So, nah, it's a little different. We had such a ball with you that night. Nah, bless That's you, right. man. I did too, man. It was cool. All right. All right. Let's get into Wax's ABCs. This is where Wax has to, um, has to sound out a word, give us the definitions, say it in a sentence, and maybe sing us into a song. Man, the word today that? is L-A-C. Is it backwards or regular? It's regular. Lactation. It's regular. No, don't. Now you got to say it. I was gonna say that anyway. L A C T I O N. Lactation. Okay, lactation wax. is um. I can't see it. Yeah, let me see it. Okay, lactation is a uh, a lack of um. What's tation? Lactation. Lactation. So it's a, a lactative that's um lactating. So, no, you can't. You're lactation. seriously tr- This is serious? Yeah, it was him. It's my boy. It's like, it's like um, you going to the train station and you lacking, so you're just late. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is right here. Is lack is always like a tie-in or or Spanish. You know what I'm saying? So this just is a, 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 a Spanish dude late for the uh, train station. He lacking mm-hmm. the time. He so can you say it in a sentence, please? Okay. All right. I was in um I was in Perth and boy because you know that's all the mommies at you know what I'm saying and one of the poppies is running down the down this the um down the ramp and he's like lactation that mean I was I lost I let um I was late to the train <laughs> late as a motherfucker missed the train. the train lactation you know what I'm saying I'm like what poppy talking about she's like oh he late to the train he said lactation that's why I remember that word yeah. all right yeah well you're hundred percent wrong Lo do you wrong. have an idea what the definition is you, you you can tell us if you know I feel like you should, would know. It sounds like I think lactation has to do with um breast milk. Yeah, it's when breast uh it's basically breast, lactation, lactation is when the when the titties makes the milk. Yes. I know I heard it somewhere. I thought it was poppy. But lactating, <laughs> lactation is derivative of those type of words or whatever you call it. Yeah, but, lactating. Oh, wax, I'm worried about you being this old. That's all. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> I'm worried about you. You know, there's a poppy ah. lacking. He lack he late. He lacking. I'm saying when somebody but lacking with they you are from Nork. I like Linden. Same place. Linden. Linden same place, but but Linden. South Orange, you know, Herb to like y'all are definitely all need checks. <laughs> Disability checks. Yo, they yo, they brain. What you mean? But you you're not understanding that you can't get lacking. Like if you lacking, what you you missing something, right? You lost. Lacking you, you just can't. The lack of or lack thereof, but now nah, you're nah, 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 nah. up. Now you need to be the motherfucker with me. You're the short bus. Ah, uh, all right, guys. <laughs> y'all, we're out of here. We out of here. We out of here. Remember, guys, <laughs> if you want to, you know, catch up a bully the beast, remember to yes. like, comment, to subscribe. Shout out to L'Oreal to Gang. Yeah, shout out to L'Oreal, but you know what this means right here. Tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. Wax. Uh, if you guys want to send us a DM, piece. if you guys want to send us a DM, where can they find us at Wax? At Bully and the Beast Podcast. Holla and us. our email? Our email is at the Bully and the Beast Podcast at gmail.com. Yes, sir. Yeah. Lo, we want to thank you. Uh, where can we find you? Where can we catch you at? Anything you want to promote? You can catch me on the grand, the two blues mommy. I'm probably going to change my name. The two, number two blues of the that. French way. Yeah, mommy. I would do that too. Big yeah. Low. I'm on YouTube. I'm featured on the Undeniable Truth Podcast via Polymath. You might see me other places because I'm hard to man gang. Early. But yeah, that's it. Get Bobby. with me. Link up with me. Love y'all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
See, <laughs> <Bye, man. laughs> see you next week.